Welcome back to game three between Eddie and Stefan. Vikings war. We just see Eddie starting to lure the last deer in his third. They were pretty close to the TC, which is awesome for Eddie. Vikings war. Of course, farms are getting very good starting in the field age because free wheelbarrow, wheelbarrow and handcart. I'm gonna go a little bit faster right now and check the maps. Let's see what we have here. For Eddie, he lured all the deer in. He's got a main gold safe in the back, the second stone safe in the back, the second gold safe in the back, which is awesome. The third gold on the right hand side, outside, but relatively close actually, one relic close to his base. We have the main stone on the left hand side, somewhat forwardish, but I guess it's all right. And Eddie should be happy with this map, it's pretty decent. Let's go for Stefan's map right now. Stefan got three, four deer, I think. That's one outside, three inside. Let's see if he's going to try and lure the last one in, or if he's gonna say, yeah, I'm all right with three deer. The main gold on the side, on the far side, could be attacked. Actually, it's not too bad, it's somewhat in the back. We have an extra gold for Stefan in the back. We have the main stone safe in the back. We have the second stone safe in the back. That means the gold for Stefan not too good. Another extra gold here on the outside. Third gold pretty far away. The no lag is really amazing. I guess 1.5 <laughs> is pretty good right now. So uh, for deer it's really nice. Yeah, that's really true. Actually, it's nice to lure deer without the lag. And we have the second gold for Stefan inside, but forwardish. It's lags from the market coming up from Stefan. He's the first to reach feudal age, and both players scouting around now. We have more relics in the map. There's one in the middle pretty much and there is one two a little bit closer to Stefan and one inside the walls I think we've seen all the relics as well Stefan advancing to castle edge double relics coming in immediately three farms up and horse color falling next as for Eddie he's got a stable actually up yeah, barracks stable and bla uh, blacksmith he's got five six seven farms right now Clicking double bit and probably horse color next. She's got the resources, should come in. There we go. And after that, I'm expecting to see a scout or two coming up for AD. So, this the one who's going for map control here, maybe even going aggressive. He has the map to do it, really. He could just boom if he wanted to, but he can go aggressive without having to fear losing all the gold or something like that. So, it's all right. And we do see Stefan going for the village. I guess we're gonna see Siege Workshop for him then. And he's just arrived at Castle H. Loom coming in, Boso coming in. Monastery getting finished with three spears actually. Good idea from Stefan. Maybe he saw the scouts and Eddie going with the monastery right now. This villager has loom, but it's still going down because the spears were out of play. Ooh, actually not dying. 8 HP left. There is a knight from Eddie. It's quick walling here from the, uh, Stefan's will. Very nice. Good fight right now from Stefan. First monk out. Starting to heal the villager. Good idea. He's gonna delete the palisade next probably and then go for... I don't know. Is he gonna go for a siege workshop? Siege workshop coming up from Eddie right now. Now, and we are seeing a very aggressive Vikings war here. Stefan, in the meantime, collecting the relic closest, and the three spears is still able to keep the knight and two scouts on distance. Also, the monk is gonna help here a little bit. Do we see any TC? Stefan turned it stone the bank. No TCs, a lot of villages in gold right now. Eddie turned it stone the bank. Mangonel coming out immediately, and Stefan only the most, but he's got a siege workshop inside of the first Mangonel coming in as well. 44, 45 population housed. Eddie going forward now with the knights with the Scouts here, a lot of action in early cast stage, 18 minutes in. But uh, it has to go back because five spear is just too much. And the monks are gonna try and convert the knights. They're going for the scouts right now. And I think the monks should go down. That's one monk going down, but one scout being converted. Good job for Eddie here, I think. Taking down another scout. And the Mangan now uh, pushing the monk back. No sanctity on the monks and nice on the spearman. Maybe this open even would help. But Mangan going down from Eddie. Nice job here from Stefan. Stefan is gonna try and protect this Mangan as good as can, he's got a lot of spearmen, but knights and scouts are attacking. Knight going down, Manganel going down. Good trade-off for Eddie then. He lost the Manganel, but got it back. Only sacrificed the knight for that. Look at that amount of feudal age spearmen. It's just crazy. Next Manganel coming up from Eddie. Nobody going for any extra TCs. Uh, a lot of villagers on gold for Eddie as well. I guess they're buying um, resources if they need them. And house on 50 at this point. Manganels. One for one, both attacking the ground apparently. Maybe Eddie didn't, but I think Stefan did so. And no Mangler going down yet. 21 HP left, uh, 44 HP. Mangler going down and 20 HP left for Stefan. Good job here. Nice micro gold money coming from Stefan and heavy plow actually. Very important eco upgrade for the long run. And the second TC now coming up from Stefan. Actually, I'm at 2 and 3. So Stefan is switching into the boom game while Eddie, not sure about it. I guess not yet. Let me see. Turn it down in the bank. So I'm not going for any TCs. Village wise, 36 both. Military wise, 12 against 16. Eddie a little bit ahead. Uh, trying to go and take the monk out of the scout. Sacrificed one, two scouts for the monk. That's all right, I guess. But Eddie again lost the Manganel, as far as I can see. A lot of spearmen from Eddie though, and the Manganel. 
It takes a while, but it's going down eventually. Also, the villager will go down, and the monk is gonna help and uh, heal the spearman a little bit. Look at this beautiful feudal age fight. It's just crazy. Uh, but Eddie again, a house in 55. This should not happen. Not good for him. And he's taking control over the middle now. Only one man now left, uh, taking a good shit on the spears. Not that it's really uh, important. Uh, taking a lot of damage from Eddie's scout, uh, Eddie's Manganel, sorry. And can Stefan get another hit on the spearman? Maybe he's gonna take down like three, four. Wow, only one spearman left. And actually, if Stefan turned around, he could take the spearman down. Uh, but the Manganel is actually staying on 8 HP, and uh, Stefan not able to take it down. The spear. Another siege workshop coming from Eddie right now. Uh, almost no wood for Eddie. How many lumberjacks? A lot of them, but no close lumberjack camp. It's not looking good. Also, gold mine is not going around a way too big. Uh, uh, too big weight, too big distance, let's call it like this. And Stefan, in the meantime, 48 against 42 villagers, um, defending with Manganels now, is sending one Manganel out, the other one to take down. No, just taking the ground. Eddie's going on, uh, on maximum distance, so Stefan cannot reach his Manganels from inside. Eddie staying on one TC apparently. Stefan at the same time getting a second siege workshop as well. Three TCs up and running, good amount of farms, should be enough to keep villager production going. And for now, he's gonna wait for AD to come in and see how good his push will be. A ram now moving forward, maybe take down the monastery, could be a good idea. Actually, going for the house right now, but Stefan is a ninth pop cap, so that should be alright. And uh, the wall's going down pretty fast now. Actually, Stefan almost losing a Manganel, dodging a second shot, taking one from Eddie down, but one maybe now. Ooh, that's one for two then for Stefan. Good job here, actually. He only lost one Manganel, took down two, and is allowed to wall behind this. This is something that Eddie should not allow, but it's happened right now. The village is going back in time, and Eddie has to take a little bit more time to actually break through the walls. Stefan, in the meantime, booming 60 villagers, going uh, towards Imperial Age, maybe. Uh, starts to think about it. Also is in stone to get a castle up eventually, and the castle will help him defend a lot here. Mm, two spearmen just in case, two mangonels in the siege workshop. Actually, another one being propped out, that's one of the two, and taking on the mangonel for free, taking a second mangonel for free. Oh, Eddie is maybe not used to the lag-free game, I don't know, but he's losing too many mangonels for no damage at all, and still not able to go through the walls. Yeah, that's one for one now, but Eddie still lost too many, and that's why Stefan is so far ahead. I think maybe Stefan should have tried to uh, uh, to complete this wall. Um, the monk trying to uh, convert the villager, but the mangonel is there for Stefan, and he's going for more mangonels as well. Now the knights moving forward, and the walls are finally open. Quick walls, quick houses coming up. The knights are going to do a good job here of uh, stopping uh, any mangonels. Spearman production. Uh, continuing and quick wall here at the end to get this little building board completed. Now Stefan losing a mangonel for nothing, it should have, should have dropped in the bag, he's dropping it forward, taking two mangonels with one shot, very nice, and another one actually before losing it to the ram here, but Eddie uh, thankfully not losing the last one, and <laughs> look at this, the mangonel dropping out and the gate closing on the ram again, but the knight is there. Stefan still able to um, keep the walls closed inside his base this time, and he's clicked up to Imperial Age. The forward TC, which is not the best idea always, but I think Stefan should be able to hold this. And Eddie, let's see, is he far away from Imp? He doesn't have a lot of resources. He's gotten a second TC up and running, and a third TC actually, but he's pretty far behind right now, and he's not able to go in. Finally, Siege Workshop going on, but more quick houses coming up by Stefan. Look at this. Uh, Eddie is still not able to go in, and he's been desperate to go in. Uh, 30 minutes into the game, he's still not able to do any sort of raiding, and Stefan is happily going into Imperial Age, probably starting to get Python very soon. Eddie at the same time, does he even have the relics? He's got one relic in the monastery, not more, he's creating more mangonels, but Stefan, the pikeman, will be able to take down everything that Eddie's throwing at him. Now the castle coming in front of the main TC, I like this position a lot. Nice shot on that uh, knight just to go back, and no redemption for the Vikings means the mangonels are pretty much on the post. Now this house is going down and maybe the barracks is next, but by the time Eddie may be able to go in, and he's actually able to go in right now, and the castle should go up, the pikemen are going to be able to defend here, the knights are taking a lot of damage, one going down immediately, and Eddie has to go back once again. Imperial Age for Stefan coming in uh, without being stopped. Uh, TC on the goal and the barracks next to it. It's actually a pretty nice setup. And I think once Stefan reaches Imperial Age, 
Eddie might even call the GG. Not sure about it. Stefan does not have a lot of food. He's spending a lot on villagers and pikemen. Doesn't have so many farms. That's looking pretty good for him. And the pikemen are coming forward. What is Stefan going to do? I think he needs a few archer ranges and maybe on a charge upgrade. It's possibly fletching coming in at least. Squires. Is he going for standard infantry afterwards? It's a possibility, but I think. Oh, or is he going berserkers? That would be nice too. Still got a lot of gold and not a lot of food actually. Should go for more farms. Uh, getting another siege workshop up. Maybe Onager coming in soon. Not sure about it. He does not have the food for anything. The Imperial Age doesn't really help him a lot. Maybe Trebuchet is next. But Eddie at the same time can't really do a lot to go in now. He's not going to be able to go to the castle. And he is starting to attack the monastery with one spearman. Pretty strong here. Eddie trying to boom more and uh, get on the level of Stefan now. But he stopped the push pretty much. And Stefan can decide what to do now. Onja coming in. I think it's a good idea. And maybe he's going to go for that standard Onja plus Berserk strategy that we've seen before in Stefan. I think it's time to go a little bit faster and see what Stefan is actually up. Two, three siege workshops now. He lost the first one inside his base. And taking a one mangonel for free. Now Eddie paying attention, getting a little bit of damage on that mangonel and getting one for almost nothing. Two HP left. That's not pretty safe. Not a uh, lot of safety here. About Onager now moving forward. Onager eight range against mangonel seven. And that's one mangonel going down immediately. Eddie saw the Onager now uh, taking a lot of damage on the other uh, second one. Nice shot on the villagers. Don't think, uh, maybe one bit go down and all the mangonel Mangonel's dying, two minutes are coming in from Stefan, Trebuchet on the way, Pikeman uh, plus one defense only, that's not a lot, but the first Berserk's on the way as well, and Stefan could go for a second castle if he wanted to right now, maybe he's gonna try and uh, take care of this gold next. And the Onage is now moving forward, the pikemen are going to stop any knights. Onage cannot be converted by the vikings. Nice use of the spears. A few Onage may go down, but the berserks are going to take down these spearmen like it, uh, like it flies. And the Onage sh should stay on at least 30 HP, 21 of 60, that's alright. Now Eddie has to go back, Stone Mine, Gold Mine, Heavy Plow, Imperial Age coming in from Eddie. Maybe too late, Stefan, I think he's dropping a castle right now, where is it going to be? be in front of that gold. It's a good position, I think. And uh, while Eddie is advancing to Imperial Age and taking, uh, Stefan taking a bitch picture on the honor chest, but finally the mangonel going down, another mangonel going down. Stefan is taking map control. Let's see, is, did Eddie get the rest of the relics? No, there's still two on the map apparently. Uh, that one still inside uh, Stefan's maze. And Eddie actually saving the two relics. Yes, up to Imperial Age we go. Berserk Berserker creating starting. The Berserk, I think the German Berserker is not really appropriate here. Second castle on the way. Also a monastery coming up where the relics will uh, be parked soon. And uh, Stefan actually going in, losing the armature. We're gonna see Berserks or uh, just Turks and Elite Berserk on the way from Stefan. Really important. So uh, Stefan is ahead in military numbers. He's ahead in. Um, in tech, plus two defense, and Eddie only plus one right now, getting the plus two in conscription coming. Crop rotation for Stefan, Fortune, gonna see the attack upgrades for the Elite Berserks now. And a lot of honor chest, Trebuchet is starting to hit that castle, Eddie needs to repair, he's got two castles here, he is gonna create uh, Berserks as long as he can, but Stefan, even doing Berserk again, uh, is gonna have more upgrades, more army, and it's looking good for him right now. Village of Ice, 130 villagers against only 104, Eddie going with more castles on the left hand side, I like this approach, also going for the extra gold. Stefan is doing the same thing, going for the gold inside his own base. I think this is still open, but a nice little wall of houses coming up. And Stefan now taking down walls here, he does not know about the castles on the left hand side, let me check that. He is getting a castle on that gold as expected, but there's two castles from Eddie right now. So it's gonna be a fight on the left hand side as well. Uh, this one castle went down, Eddie does have elite berserks as well. I don't know if he's got the elite berserk again upgrade. He is trying to convert a few of them, but Eddie and Stefan still got more, I think. It's slow down a little bit. The Onagers are helping a lot here. So I think Stefan might be able to win this fight, barely. And of course, uh, Berserks are going to heal him. There's a nice from the monks, taking out a few Berserks as well. But um, Eddie calling GG here. He knows uh, it's too far behind. He knows the two castles won't stand for too long. Actually, his villages are getting raided as well. Stefan is going in with a lot of onages. A few berserks still left for Eddie, but uh, really not a lot of use. Stefan doing the better job here, able to keep Eddie out of his base for such a long time that he could boom up behind that and took the game in the end. Hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next games and GG.